Hi everyone, my name is Michela Giorcelli and I am an assistant professor in the economics department at the University of California, Los Angeles. Today I'm gonna talk about managerial practices and firm performance. The motivation of this talk is that we observe large and persistent productivity spread even within countries and even within narrowly defined sectors. It has been shown that the ratio between the uh, firms uh, uh, in the 9th and in the 10th percentile in terms of productivity in the US uh, is 2 to 1. And this spread appears even larger in countries like India and China, where it is 5 to 1. At the aggregate level, 30% of the average differences per capita income can be ascribed to productivity. A natural question at this point is what can explain such differences? And the explanation relies in the art technologies uh, as those embodied in patents, machineries, information and communication technologies, uh, but also in soft technologies that can be thought about as both managerial practices and, as, and managers. And as uh, uh, Severson 2011 then said that there are no potential driving factor of productivity that has seen a higher ratio of speculation of empirical studies. Indeed, the importance uh, of management goes back uh, to um, at least the 20th century. With the rise of big business uh, in the US, uh, uh, there was uh, an increasing importance of uh, uh, organization and monitoring of uh, plans of the same firms that were located across the countries. And uh, uh, the um, uh, mass production at the Ford factory in Detroit was possible through the adoption of the uh, um, Taylor principle of scientific management that uh, allowed the, the reduction in the production time from 10 hours to 2.5 hours. The economic research with this respect has been held back by data viability. Specifically, it was very hard to address how to measure good managerial practices and how to compare different countries. A partial solution to this problem came from the World Management Survey that has surveyed over 10 years about 20,000 firms globally. As you can see, it involved firms in America, in Europe, and in the large part of Asia. The management uh, survey allowed us to look uh, at the managerial spread across countries, confirming that indeed the management dramatically varies across different countries. Also, very interestingly, management varies across firms within countries. And this is true in most countries, no matter their level of GDP or the GDP growth rate. Comparing a country that is very productive like the US with a country that is less productive like India, the problem doesn't seem to be the distribution of good management practice, but the higher tail of poorly managed firms that are there in India and they are able to survive despite the market condition in India compared to the US, where this left tail appear to be much, much smaller. Does management has a causal effect on firm performance? To answer this question, Bloom and co-author uh, undertook an experiment on 20 plants uh, in large multi-plant firms uh, uh, in India, near uh, Mumbai, making cotton fabric. Specifically, they randomized um, treatment across plants, uh, getting five months uh, of management consulting, uh, while the uh, other firms uh, that were placed in the control group uh, only get one month. The consulting was on 38 specific managerial practices tied to factory operation, quality, and inventory control. And there was a collection of weekly data on all plants from 2008 to 2010. What are the results? The results show that treatment plants were more likely to adopt 
uh, a share of the 38 managerial practices over time compared to the control trends in which the adoption uh, appear much more moderate. And also non-experimental plans in treated firms start over time to adopt some of the managerial practices. What are the long-term effects uh, of managerial practices adoption? Of course, uh, randomized control trials uh, are only able to, fir to follow firms uh, over a limited number of years uh, or months uh, after the experiment. So in order to answer this question, Giorcelli turns back to economic history and use evidence from a unique historical episode. That was the um, productivity program. Productivity program was implemented under the umbrella of the Marshall Plan intervention, uh, and specifically in Italy, it was sponsored between 1952 and 1958. What this program did was organize a management training trip for European managers at US firms in order to learn good managerial practices. Um, the firms that wanted to participate to this program had to submit an application, but then when the program was about to start, the US cut the budget. And that as a result, only a subset of the firms that were initially eligible and supposed to participate to the program ended up doing so. It's therefore possible to compare treated companies and comparison companies over time, thanks to early collected data from 1946 to 1973. What the results show is that management has a persistent effect on firm productivity over time. Specifically, treatment and control firms appear to be very similar in the five years before the starting of the program then firms that were in the treatment group uh, starting taking off in the intervention year with a stable increase up to 15 years after the program. This indicates that management intervention are successful and could persist over time. And this can explain why uh, managerial uh, uh, practices spread are so strongly correlated with the spreading productivity across countries and are highly persistent over time. Firms that are better managed are usually more productive. But can we also say something about the green economics? Bloom and Carter collected data on 300 manufacturing firms in the US. And using the managerial scores that firms had, we're able to show that firms that are better managed are able to use um, less energy to be more productive and overall at lower emission of greenhouse um, gases. So this evidence suggests that management is not only important to boost firm performance, but can also have a positive impact on the environment when good management is related to uh, uh, less uh, energy utilization. So to conclude, what the, um, this talk show is that management drives country productivity spread. This is something true in both the developed and less developed countries. And the managerial, uh, uh, the uh, World Management Survey shows that there are huge productivity spread even within firms and even within countries. Management is able to have a causal effect on firm performance, specifically Firms that receive a management, managerial intervention adopt managerial practices, improve their performance, and notably, these effects are persistent over time. 15 years after management intervention, we can still observe a differential pattern in firm performance between treated and non-treated companies. What can we say? Uh, for uh, 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 in terms of open questions. So uh, what the future research should be focused on is uh, what drives the initial adoption of good management? Why some firms are initially better managed than others? This is a very important question since the managerial practices are very persistent over time and productivity spread are also very persistent over time understanding what are the initial drivers of the uh, managerial practices spread appear very important in order to uh, understand its implication. 
Um, despite uh, the large and persistent effect of managerial practices on firm performance, uh, most firms uh, still don't adopt a good management. So an important question is why managerial practices do not diffuse uh, in the economy um, uh, uh, as it was uh, socially desirable. Uh, is due to some informational friction, is due to some technical difficulties, uh, is that because firms without training are not able to figure out what are the best managerial practices, what is the role of managerial turnover in the adoption of uh, uh, such practices. And the last question is, is there room for public policy in increasing managerial practices adoption? There could be subsidized managerial training programs or managerial consulting services that can help improving spread of managerial practices within uh, and uh, across societies and uh, across uh, uh, firms. Of course, uh, um, these, uh, uh, in, in light of uh, uh, the positive effect uh, of management on firm performance and in general in productivity spread, understanding what is the role for public policies is considered particularly important. Um, I will stop here. I will thank you very much uh, uh, for uh, um, your attention and I will also thank you very much the organizer for making this conference happening online. I know that the initial plan was to meeting on August the 1st in the beautiful Stanford campus, and I'm sure that we are all sorry that this couldn't happen. However, I'm very happy that we can still have this conference that every, any of us was able to send here is or her own uh, contribution, and uh, I hope uh, uh, the each of you is uh, uh, enjoying this participation in the hope of having soon uh, uh, in-person conferences again. Uh, once again, thank you very much uh, for your attention, and uh, I am I'm, I'm available for answering any questions that you may come up with. Thank you very much. Have a good day.